Okay, so um, obviously it's the end of the night, but in this video you're about to watch, I take off the, uh, um, I work on the front cylinders. Uh, this is video number six, continuation of video number five. So I pull off the front, uh, front cylinders, front head, all of that, um, in tearing down this bike. We're rebuilding the um, top end. Um, there was some lost um, footage, um, but I think everything's pretty well covered. Okay, thank you for watching. All right, so now that we got the rocker covers off, we're going to go for the four um, rocker arm bolts. Then we'll go for the 7 16 There's three of them, two and three on that side. Then we'll go for the quarter 20s, one here and one on that far opposite side. You can't see it. There it is, right there where my finger's pointing. Okay, so we did the four half inch bolts that were holding the, uh, through the rocker arms. Then we did the three seven sixteenths bolts, two, three, then we did the two quarter inch, quarter twenties, and we're ready to pull the rocker box off. See, we move the camera. like so. Okay, so we lost video footage of me taking the retainer clip out, pulling the wrist pin out, getting this piston off, um, a rinse and repeat of pulling the um, top covers and the rocker box off. Um, so all of that is um, pretty much covered in um, video number five, except for removing the piston. So we'll cover that on the front cylinder. Um, and we'll go from there. Sorry about the missing footage. Anyway, so at this point I can pull my number three push rod and my number four push rod out. If you're wondering, it's one, two, or right here. It's number one, um, two, three, four. Uh, and we go over here. Uh, 
just set a, it's a good habit to set everything the way you took it out. So push rods, one, two, three, and four. That's all the rear cylinder stuff with my hardware. There's the rear piston. There's the front rocker box assembly. We're going to be uh, taking the head out and cylinder. Anyway, and then there's all the other stuff that I had to take out prior to tearing down the cylinders. All right, so I'm going to break the head bolts loose. There's two here and two over there. So I always go in a crisscross pattern. One over here, one over there, one over here, one over there. Although um, when you torque these bolts down, it actually, for the front, it's going to be one, two, three, four. Then it's kind of a, it's a mirror image uh, for the rear cylinder on your torque pattern. So this is a rear head. If you're standing on the right side of the bike, which I was when I showed you the front, so the rear head torque pattern is going to be mirror image of the front, which is one, two, three, and four. Okay. Got those head bolts off. Guide tubes. The head comes right off. cylinder Normally cover up this bore before I completely pull the cylinder off. Uh, I just forgot to. Not too big of a deal. All right. So in this video, we'll show you pulling this retainer clip out. Getting back in the wrist pin off, pulling the piston off. Oh, so it's a good thing that we're in here. Uh, that the head gasket blew when it did. I don't know if you can see. Let me get a flashlight. Okay, there. So that retainer clip is not all the way in. It's actually on its working its way out. It's on its way out. If that retainer clip came out, um, catastrophic damage to my front uh, cylinder. That would have been all bad. Because that would have moved the wrist pin out and it would have been scraping all over it. It would have just been chewing up my um, front cylinder. I would have had a failure. Catastrophic failure. So, lucked out on this one. Alright. It's gotten real dark tonight, so... So basically, I'm just going to stick the screwdriver in there and roll 
all the way around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow that spring and roll this all the way around. And that'll pop out that retainer clip. Just like that, it's out. Now, I can back the wrist pin off. Like that. And as you can see, piston is free. All right.